Hello and welcome, this is Sean with Clay's Image Productions and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial about converting your video files for HTML5 uh, embedding and uh, video playback. The uh, nice thing about HTML5 video is that it's supported on pretty much all of the um, modern browsers and including iOS devices, uh, Safari on you know, say iPad or iPhone and uh, Android uh, and every other uh, desktop browser that's out there. Um, so the three video files uh, types that you need in order to be compatible with all the different browsers are an MPEG-4 video, which is us using the H.264 video codec, an OGG video uh, file, and also a WebM video file. And so what you'll need to do is convert your videos to those three formats and have all three on your web page um, and then have those embedded into the web page and then the browser will detect which one it can play back and it will play that one back. Uh, I'm not actually going to be going into the code to embed those today but I will do that in a future um, tutorial so subscribe to our channel and, uh, and we'll have that uh, tutorial coming pretty soon. Um, so the program we're going to use to convert our video files today is actually a really cool little program that's completely free it's called a VLC Media Player. Um, we've been using this program for quite a while to play back different video uh, file types because it plays back a huge amount of uh, video files and uh, different video codecs as well. If you don't have this program or you're not familiar with it, uh, you can go to their website which is videoland.org and you can download the VLC player uh, right on here. Um, if you're running Windows 7 64-bit, I would recommend getting the 64-bit version of the program um, which I, I just clicked on uh, other systems and versions here go to Windows and then scroll down and they have the 64-bit version here it's still I think in kind of the experimental stage uh, as they call it and so it's not fully tested yet but I've had the best experience with it when running a Windows 64-bit uh, Windows 7 64-bit so you can just download the uh, executable file right here and run that on your computer and uh, and it'll install it. And so once we've got the program open here, um, I'm going to open up the video file that we want to convert. And it's just a little uh, nine second clip of a butterfly here. Um, I took this down to standard def and just so that uh, it didn't take so long to convert it. Um, but it works perfectly fine with high def files as well. So all you need to do is open up the program. You don't need to have that video loaded in here to convert it we're just going to go to convert slash save and then we want to click add and choose our source file which is going to be that butterfly clip and then click convert slash save at the bottom down here and right here we just choose our destination which will put it right back in that same folder and let's do the mpeg4.mp4 video first now if you notice I actually typed in the file extension here that's something that you have to do whatever um, file extension you're going to be converting it to make sure you type in that file extension when you create the uh, name otherwise if you leave that blank it will default to a .ps file and that's not what you want you want uh, in this case an mpeg4 file down here you want to choose under profile the mp4 and if you click on this little settings uh, box to the right of it we can choose like our video codec, uh, make sure that we're using H.264. We can adjust our bit rate here, frame rate, uh, depending on if our video is 29.97 uh, frames per second or 23.97. Um, down here we can choose the resolution. I'm just going to keep it at 1, which will keep the exact same resolution that the original video is. But you can adjust that down here. Audio codec, MP3 audio for our MPEG-4 video file. And we're going to use 128 kilobits per second. Uh, stereo, two channels, and 44100 for our sample rate. Um, all of that's fine. We'll just leave that at that. And then everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and click start. And you'll notice the MPEG-4 video shows up in there. And it's converting the file right now. When it gets done, it should just go blank like that. And here's our MPEG-4 video. So that one worked okay. So let's go ahead and do the OGG one now. I don't have to retype that in as long as the program is still open. It's got the uh, source file in there. So let's scoot this up some. OK. 
Okay, this is going to be the OGG version. So we want to come down here and choose the first OGG one, which is using the Vorbis uh, audio codec rather than the FLAC one. I know for sure that uh, the Vorbis one works um, for HTML5 video. I'm not sure about FLAC. It may, but I've never tried it. So, uh, 2000 bitrate, 23.97. Everything looks good there. Always double check all those things because uh, if you haven't changed them previously, then they might be set on something that you don't want. Um, okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and click OK. File shows up there, and we can see it the progress bar going on the uh, VLC player. Okay, that one's done. So now let's go ahead and do the last one, which is going to be our WebM video. Okay, so we've got butterfly.webm and choose the WebM profile down at the bottom. Again, let's just double check this one, make sure everything looks good. And it does there. 128, okay. And this is using the VP80 video codec and Vorbis audio. Let's go ahead and click start, and there we go. We can see it converting down here. Okay, that one's done. So let's go ahead and double check this, make sure it looks okay. And there we go. Now, the difference in the quality between the original here. This is the original AVI file, and say like the MPEG-4 video is very minimal. I mean, the, the quality loss is, you, you can tell it's a little less saturated, a little less contrast, but the quality looks pretty close to the original. But if we look at the actual video file sizes between these, that AVI file is almost 120 megabytes. The MPEG-4 is only 2.5, the OGG is about 2.6, and the WebM is about 1.7. So the uh, compression is very good on these uh, video file types uh, or video files and um, keeping the quality of the original video. Uh, so that's the three different uh, file types that we're going to need. We would probably also want to do an FLV file as well uh, just for older browsers that um, don't have the ability to do uh, HTML5. Uh, so like an older desktop browser, like an old, older Firefox browser or Internet Explorer. Um, Unfortunately, I've not had good success with having VLC convert an FLV file. It does have the capability, it's listed in there, um, but I've not had good success with that. So if somebody else has done a uh, FLV file with, uh, with VLC, um, leave a comment below and let me know uh, the settings you used uh, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I've not had good success with that, so I'd recommend using something else um, for converting an FLV file. Um, but uh, for everything else, it, it uh, works great. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And uh, please subscribe to our uh, channel, and we'll have some more tutorials coming up pretty soon. And you can always visit us at claysimage.com. Thanks for watching.